you've got questions. Well, we have the man to answer those questions, Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. Good to be with you, sir. The good thing it's not like Ask the Cowbell or something, right? Like that. <laughs> well, uh, like the only, I got a prescription and the only, uh, you know, the only cure is more cowbell. I can, I can never have too much cowbell, Bob. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I don't have more cowbell, but I have more questions. One of which goes like this. I received a letter from the IRS, uh-oh, stating that I owed them money, uh-oh, again, from gambling. I did not pay taxes. Wait, wait, that was a third uh-oh, from gambling. <laughs> <laughs> but my thought process was, if they look into my gambling year, they should also find my gambling losses. Apparently not. But that said, can I disagree with their proposed action and still correct or report my winnings and then also add my win-loss record to offset? I definitely lost more than I won. I'm at a standstill. <laughs> and you're my only hope. <laughs> Help me, Obi-Wan. Let me, let me summarize. I was a giant loser last year, and I had got creamed on tax anyway. Look, we're joking, of course, and, 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 a, and a tough situation, just trying to make light of a, a, a rough spot for this individual. But here's the, the, the deal, right? You have to report your income. You get to report deductions. So chances are what happened here is this individual won some money from a, uh, you know, and, and I'm not saying net, not like, hey, at the end of the year, you ended up with this positive amount, but just over the course of the year, you won some of your bets and the total was high enough that the uh, the, the institution, the, the gambling institution, if you want to call it, sent you a 1099 for your gambling winnings. And the IRS said, hey, you didn't tell us about this. We're adding it to your return. So far, the IRS is right. Now, can you deduct your losses against the winnings? The answer is yes, but, there's always a but, Bob, always. The answer is yes, but you have to itemize your deductions in order to do so. Now, depending upon your losses, it might not be worth itemizing. I don't know how much money we're talking. I mean, if we're saying, hey, I bet $300,000 uh, or I bet, you know, I won 300,000 and I lost 350. Well, yeah, you should definitely fix that. But if you're saying, hey, I got a, a you know, 1099 for $3,000 and I, uh, you know, I, I, I lost more and it was 6,000. Well, you don't, you only get to offset your income. So you can only offset the 3,000 that you reported as income. And that may not actually be better than taking your standard deduction. So yeah, in some situations, what happens is if people are taking that standard deduction right now, they end up paying taxes on their winnings with no tax benefit for their losses. It's just an artifact of the way the tax system works today. If you think it's not fair, remember our inbox is not for that. I could see the, I could see it already happening, Bob. Like that's not fair. I, you can write to your congressperson you can ask questions to us, but not. <laughs> yeah. So one one thing is certain: if you're betting with, I don't know, name the entity, the local racetrack or the mm -hmm. local online betting, they're required to report any and all gambling winnings. If you earn enough, if you if your payout is large enough, then they have to send you a 1099. Yes, because they don't want to get in trouble with the IRS. Now, some institutions will also keep track of your losses, so you they might just report the net winnings. They're they're ultimately going to report the amount that they sent you. You are responsible for telling the IRS how much you lost. Now, a question that always comes up is, how do I prove that? And that is a little bit difficult, but at the very least, you want to keep, let's say, a contemporaneous log of how much you've lost, and any evidence that you can keep to support that would be in your best interest. Yeah. Well, I, I'm at a loss to ask a follow up question, but I'm sure our readers aren't at a loss to ask us questions. I like it. Uh, you, you, you took the words right out of my mouth. So with that said, give us a shout. Be a winner by sending your questions to askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. And Bob and I look forward to seeing your questions in our inbox real soon. <music>